All right, so here's Eve. I just did a video, but I didn't put the cats in it. There's chaos. He just finished having a snack. Laddie's up on the porch drinking the cat water and finishing off his snack. And I just finished coming out and putting some food out for the barrel kittens. So I thought I'd try to get a little bit of them on film if they're still over there eating. I thought there was only five left, and I think there's six. Nomad, the black and white, um, that keeps hanging out here, which I'm pretty sure she's female. I have a feeling, well, she's, she's still got food in her bowl, though the rooster's pecked at it. She sometimes hides when that little herd starts coming over here, and that's a little herd, because I think they outnumber her, and I... Sadly, I have a sneaky suspicion she might be pregnant. Maybe that's why she's become so much more social and, you know, she lets me get fairly close. I still can't touch her, but. So I brought a, I think it's a 10, 10, 12 ounce can out and split it up into little piles for this crew. So the little gray and white one that looks a little bit larger there, let's look at its lips sitting, its chest is facing us. When that kitten was a tiny little kitten was when my two-year-olds were tiny little kittens. And it was a single born to a mama over there under their house. And uh, um, it, I found it in my backyard crying in the shed close to where the new kittens were. I think it was just confused and it hurt other kittens. So I took it next door and I think they can, they're able to get a little closer to that one. I mean, the, the, the older people next door are, but there's a couple, there's a black and white one, tuxedo, two tabbies, um, this little bitty young tabby here, which is closest to me now, is actually quite a small kitten, maybe only a couple, three months old, maybe three months old, and then I think there's a couple black, there's six I counted today, typically if there were more, they would all be out, so the end of the new year, and Okay, there's one up on their deck looking itself. So I think there's two black ones, a tuxedo, two striped tabby mix, and a gray and white tabby. I'm not going to name them. I'm just trying to get them. Though it's an added expense, not like our cat costs us a couple hundred bucks a month anyway in feed, but that's not counting in the litter. And the new two $500, $600 worth of electric litter boxes. Okay, it's a Paul thing, don't ask. But they uh, makes it easier for him to clean um, because that's his, that's his really only dedicated job is cat boxes. And taking out the trash if it's too heavy otherwise, you know, I just, I do everything at my pace, but I get it done. But yeah, this is my goal is to in the new year, hopefully be able to trap these guys, you know, catch them in my net, figure out a way to get them, and get them, uh, I mainly have to do it two at a time, and if I get any pregnant mamas, I'll, I'll wait till they've had the babies, and then I'll take mamas, it's still cheaper to get the mama fixed, to get the babies their shots and fixed than it is to have a, uh, procedure to have a female fix that's already got, who's, you know, already pregnant, it's a lot larger, it's like, two, three times the amount. So, and I'll try to look for vouchers or whatever. Anything going on that'll help with fixing feral cats. But, and I'll just get them, you know, neutered and spayed and shots and re-released. But there they all are. So I was hoping I would hear Nomad slink back over here to eat. I do feed her separate just because of the gang up of the herd over there. She's not in her bowl, but I have found her on my back porch eating some of uh, Chaos's leftovers. Let me get zoom back out. Oh, here comes my dog. Hi, you came hang out with your mama? So my intention to come out here was to retrieve a scoop I left out and an empty water canister that I left out. And in the meantime, I thought I would try to film the cats. I was hoping I would catch Nomad, but so I need to bring a little more water out for this. This is the heater that stays plugged in 
and it doesn't make the water warm but it keeps it from freezing so they always have access to no matter how cold it gets at night they get up in the morning and they need to drink first thing or you know they get out here before I do or when they go come in to hang out in here they hang out and loiter here around in the kennel area of their coop before bed you know they roost up here you can tell by their little dirty feet and uh typically if they're even with the gates still open i'll bring their their food and water in here on you know and they mingle around in here and hang out until they put themselves to bed but anyhow yeah you're just so young why are you molting so early so they're year olds so um typically I, Chickens don't molt till they're 18 months old, but who knows, they're molting. If I thought it was because of him, I would bring home him. I would just have to. But uh, I think any over, overly randiness he's pulling can be solved with uh, some more females. Get back, get back. Yesterday, or the other day, he ran out of the gate and then started chasing Laddie Roo and I had to go get the big fishing net and scoop him up and deposit him back over the fence just because he was being a jerk. All right, enough about the birds. Everybody have a happy and safe New Year's Eve and I'll see you next year.